Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel, Always Bolt the Bird. Um, and like always, if you've been here before, welcome back. So this week we're going to be playing, it's a Boros aggro deck with Glass of the Guild Pact. Uh, it's one of the cards that I've really, really, really wanted to play um, since uh, Ravnica Allegiance came out. Um, I just couldn't really find the right fit for it, but I saw this deck going around... Uh, making us rounds and it looked really fun. So basically, multicolored spells you control, uh, multicolored creatures you control get plus one plus one. Everything in our deck, with the exception of Hero Precinct One, is a multicolored creature. So basically, everything gets plus one plus one. I think in one of the games you even seem to get three of these down or two of these down. Um, uh, and then Hero Precinct One is another. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a one one human uh, creature token. So, between these two, they play really well with the rest of the deck, which is basically a bunch of Footlight Fiends, Boros Challenger, because 2-3 two, for 2 with Mentor is always good, um, Relentless Raptor, 3-3 three, three for 2, uh, and his downside isn't that bad, because we're playing aggro, so we're going to pretty much attack, or block, uh, each turn if able. Uh, Sky Terror, actually Sky Terror is really good, especially because uh, 2-2 two, two for 2, Flying and Menace, so it's got a little bit of Evasion, and even if they do have one one flying creature, so it still can't block it. So and then mix it in with some glass of the guild pact, and all of a sudden you get a three three or four four um, flying with menace. Uh, then we got uh, swift blade vindicator uh, one one for two, but with double strike vigilance and trample. I think yeah, uh, like I said in oh no, I didn't say it, uh, but. Um, I think the first game you're going to see, I totally forgot that double strike. When first strike happens, if it kills the creature, the second, the double strike, actually hits the opponent. So, I didn't know that. Well, I think I did know that, but I definitely forgot that. And I actually won the game without realizing it. So, this is one of those really good, good creatures. Uh, then Tajik. Tajik is just an amazing creature. Uh... It's a 3-2 for 3, but it's got haste and mentor, and prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. And for a red and a white, we can give them first strike. Uh, so it works really well. Uh, the 3-2 is bigger than pretty much anything, so that almost always procs mentor at some point. Unbreakable formation. Uh, gain indestructible till end of turn. Definitely a good little party trick. Um, but then addendum. Uh, if you cast it during your main phase, put a 1-1 counter on each of those creatures, and they gain Vigilance till end of turn. Uh, I don't think we ever use Addendum, but it's still good to just make everything indestructible. Uh, then Aurelia. Uh, flying and Mentor, and then at the beginning of your turn, something gets to uh, plus 2 plus 0. So, in general, just a great card. And then Heroic Reinforcements. Uh, Heroic Reinforcements has won me many a game with this deck. Uh, just a super duper good card. Um, so before I talk for longer... Uh, let's just get to the games, but if you enjoyed this video and videos like it, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, tap the bell icon, get notified every time we post a video, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, yeah, and actually, I'm not going to be any more long-winded in the intro, but uh, if you watch the outro, I actually have a question for you guys, so stay, stay through the outro. Um, but yeah, so let's get to the games. Alright, playing some... Boros Glass. Against who am I playing? Against Rishar. Richar. Richar. Um so a lot of Aure Aurelias. Not enough land though. Uh we're gonna mulligan. I think Aurelia at four cast is the most expensive thing, so I mean if I had a s if this wasn't here and I had a red mana source, this would be pretty good. But, I don't. Eh. Not horrible. Mm, I'll keep it on top. Alright, well. So far we're playing against, like, poor men, is it? Make them think I'm a mono red deck for now. Guildgate, huh? Uh, let's drop the glass and go from there. 
Alright, so we're playing against Grixis something or other so far. Okay. Grixis dinosaurs? Um, let's drop this guy. Got a lava coil? If we get another land, this is pretty decent. If we, actually, if we get another land, and it's a white mana source, what do you get to create? A 3-3 three, three dragon, huh? I'll block. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you have a lightning strike? You do. I, I mean, okay. So, Boros Challenger number two. Waiting on the opponent. Alright, Enigma Drake. We can, uh. Alright, well. Unfortunately, uh, we'll say no attacks. He has Menace, so that's always good. But unfortunately, we're not getting out Aurelia. Yep, Nicol Bolas. I'm going to discard that. He's a fair ways away from flipping him. Alright, so there's some land. Uh, I guess we drop Aurelia. I guess we attack? If they want to trade a Nicol Bolas or an Enigma Drake, I'm completely fine. Alright, so they don't. Okie dokie. Alright, Twilight Prophet. Uh, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. So any card will give them the city's blessing. And I don't think we're doing that well right now. That's a weird card to play, but okay. Doesn't really fit the deck, but all right. Let's see if they attack. A Tajik would be pretty nice right about now. Although I don't know how much that would actually help. Um, hmm. I guess we'll do this. That costs four, right? Uh, Alright, we'll say two attackers. Make him a 4-4. Four, four. So whatever they block with, I can kill something with my Sky Tower. And the Aurelia... Well, that'll live. Alright, so it puts the Drake in front of Aurelia. Okay, they are not aggressively blocking, but I guess it's because of stuff like that. That's probably one of the best cards they probably could have drawn. Um, I mean, I guess we're still not doing horrible. Another glass of the guild pack would be amazing right now. Uh, Footlight Fiend. 
moves to attackers. Move to attackers pretty quickly, so I'm guessing it doesn't have anything. Okay. Um. Heroic reinforcements. Uh, let's attack. Yeah, let's go hog. Um, mentor from Aurelia, so that's a six. Uh, we'll give it to this guy. Um, give it to him again. All right, let's see. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, I'm going to guess that they don't block with Twilight Prophet because there's a good chance they can just kill me if they don't. Um, okay. Okay. Mm, makes sense. Okay, so what are we getting in for, 11? I mean, that is pretty much the best way to block. Oh, this has trample? Oh, it does have trample. Nifty. Alright, so he gets to deal one damage to something. Yep, me makes sense. And double- Oh! Okay, so, yeah, I kind of forgot about Double Strike. Um, I always forget that if something with Double Strike is blocked and it dies on the first strike, it deals the damage again to the player. So, hey, we won, and I didn't even know. Alrighty, playing against Dog Leader. Playing some... Blah, 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 what do you call it? Playing some uh, Boros Glass. Um, we go first, and this is a pretty, pretty darn good hand. Um, do we want to pay two life to get a Footlight Fiend down first? Uh, I think we will, actually. Um, yeah, we're going to pay two life. Drop a Footlight Fiend. So now, do we want to Glass next or Hero of Precinct 1? Is that a guild gate? No, Forsaken uh, Sanctuary. Alright, um... You know what, let's glass. Let's swing in. Next turn we hero precinct one, and then heroic reinforcements. Ooh, never mind. Um... I mean... All attack. Okay, so down to 11 life. Um, if this resolves, do we win? All attack. Uh, give it to one of those guys. And that my friends, is what aggro is all about. So, yeah. That was a really, 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 really quick win. Really aggro win. Uh, that's kind of exactly what this deck wants to do. Alright, playing some Boros Glass against Stoxy. Uh, we go first. No white mana. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll be a little greedy. We'll see if we can't draw a white, ma white mana source at some point. Alright, Footlight, and pass the turn. It's the Guild Gate deck, so as soon as we see a Gates of Blaze, we'll probably just concede. Because this deck can absolutely not beat Gates of Blaze. Um, okay. 
there is a slight chance that we can just outpace them. I don't think I'm going to commit anything more to the board. Um, all attack. Let's mentor up. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Everything's going to die to Gates of Blaze anyway, so Sacred Foundry enters tapped. Oh, uh, let's end turn. I don't want to commit anything more to the board. Show me the Gates of Blaze. There's Gates of Blaze. Uh, boop. Uh, Clifftop Retreat. Alright, so... I'm going to... Hope they don't have a second Gates of Blaze. But if they do... Oh, District Guide, alright. Alright. Alright, so is it Guildgate? Uh, heroic Reinforcement. And All Attack. Okay. Well, let's see if they have another Gates of Blaze. Oh, wait, no, that's game. Yes, that's game. I always forgot. Double strike, it would kill it, and then deal the two damage. Sweet. So, while we cannot beat a Guildgate deck, we can out-aggro them. Alrighty, playing some Boros Glass against Apocalypse. Um, I guess this doesn't seem bad at all. We're on the play, we need one more land. Do we Sonic Foundry and pay the life for a Footlight Fiend? And then Glass, and then just start dropping these guys? Now let's see what we're playing against. Let's see what they got. Hmm. Taking the time. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, they're playing Elf Ball. Yeah, let's uh, pay two life. Get this bad boy down. Yeah, it looks like they're playing... Oh, wait, Drover of the Mighty. We're... Oh, wait, maybe they only had one land. That's why they had to choose Elf. Alright, so... We Glass... Uh, all attack. Alright. I think they might be out of land, so unfortunately, unless they drew some. Yeah, Land of War Elves. This is one last and gains haste. Mm, I do want to play another glass, but I think this is a, uh, a smarter play. They'll have to super block if they want to kill anything. Let's see. Next turn, well, if there even is a next turn, we drop another glass and just go hog with these two. Uh, I think the opponents roping us. Well, we're looking at Glass of the Guild Pact. Okay. Alright. They are not roping us. They just... Okay. 5-5. Five, five. Trample and Haste. Alright, so they'll keep it as a blocker, obviously. Oh, I wish I had one more land. Um... Still, one more land would have been sweet. Two glass of the guild packs. However, we... All attack still anyway? Do we attack or do we wait for another glass of the guild pact? Well, I think that answers that question. We attack. I guess they're going to block the Tajik. Yep, they blocked the Tajik. 
I don't... Okay. They no longer have a dinosaur, so that dropped back down to 1-1. One, one. Um... 5-5 five, five, Footlight Fiend seems pretty good. Unless they have a... Uh, have some removal... No, there's another charging Minotaur. Minotaur. No. Monstra. Monstrasaur. Um. I think we have to, right? <laughs> um. This Footlight Fiend is doing work. And we'll attack, we'll see how they block, and then we'll. Probably drop Boros. No, nah, yeah, Boros Challenger. Uh, although this is a this would be a three a four four double strike vigilance. All right, well let's see what they do. Let's see what they do, because this would be a four four double strike vigilance trample. All right, so they're going to double block. Uh, yeah, no. We'll get rid of this guy. All right, opponent. What do we got? All right. And what should we get rid of? We get rid of that guy. And we drop a 4-4 Double Strike Vigilance Trample. Alright. I mean, we don't win the game, but... We're in pretty decent shape. They have not drawn a land, and that's just... That's just sad. Alright, so... Aurelia... It'll gain more trample and more vigilance. And okay, opponent scoops it up. I mean, it would have been a 6 4 double strike trample vigilance creature, so yeah. Alright, playing against Hawk Frost. And we are playing some Boros Glass. Uh, two land, no glass, but not a horrible hand if we can draw some more land. Mm. Well, we'll pay two life. Blue can kind of mean anything at this point. It could be mono blue tempo. Is it? Um, let's attack. What do we want to play? I guess Boros Challenger. Um, that costs four. All right, so we're playing against the that deck. Um, all attack. It's the uh, the Drake's deck here. All right, so no blocks. Uh, let's drop another challenger. And let's see what they drop. Sift. Draw three cards, then discard a card. Interesting. Don't really see that played too much. Right, we'll see what they do. What do they discard? No, really, they threw out an opt. Uh, well, unfortunately, we don't have that. Um, yep, Mentor Mentor does nothing. Are they going to block something now? No, they're not. Uh, well, Relentless Raptor. If we can get a land, I think we have the game. And it not get countered. That's a big thing. But we shall see. Alright. Lightning Strike, okay, on a 3-3. Enigma Drake. Hmm... Hmm, 
Um, I would have really loved some land. Mm -mm. Um, let's drop this little dude. Let's say uh, no attacks. Crackling Drake. Oh, they they caught up. I don't feel too good about this. Well, let's see. I mean, heroic reinforcements, all attack, mentor, mentor. I mean, we're getting nine damage through, right? No matter what they do. Nine damage, right? That's game? Blink of an eye? Uh... Yeah? Did we win? Opponent thinking. They might have blink of an eye. Uh, I mean, does it really matter? <laughs> All right, nine damage. Um, I actually really didn't think that we had that game. Uh, I didn't do math well. Alrighty, playing against Morovic. Merovic, playing some Boros Glass. Um, I mean, if we get another land, it's pretty damn good. All right, we'll keep it. We are on the draw. And we'll see what we draw. Uh, enters tapped. Are we playing a Guildgate deck? We pretty much just insta-scoop to Guildgate decks. All right, we're not. All right, right off the bat with a shock. Right off the bat with a shock, all right. So, drop one of those. Hopefully we draw land. You got a lightning strike? Yep. Uh, all right, so we got a land. Um, let's bait out some more removal, maybe. So, next we play Tajik. If we draw another land, what the heck is that? Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that card played. Okay. Um, yeah, so Tajik. Create a little token, dude. All attack. So I think I'm okay with with him trading. All right, he doesn't trade. Goes to 14. Yep, lightning strike on Tajik. G2 lava runner. It's a two-two with haste. All right, if you really want to attack, no blocks. Okay. I can pump him, or I can... Uh, well, let's attack. Let's see how he wants to block. It costs like four, right? Yeah, four. Alright. So he doesn't block. I guess we drop... This? We got an oops. I think he meant to block. Um, yep, shock that doesn't go to the face. Uh, lightning, uh, wizard's lightning. All right, no blocks. Give me a land. There's my land. All right, so two, three. Um, all right, I'm going to hope that... I don't die this turn. Uh, we'll have to see. 
As of now, if he doesn't play a creature, we win. Really? Just gonna attack? Okay. Oh, okay. We got the good game. Alright, so they were just attacking because they were giving up anyway. Alright, fair enough. Um. Yeah, so I mean, that was Boros Glass or Agro Glass, Red White Glass. Um, it was actually a really, 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 really fun deck to play. Um, I think we even had like a turn 4 win, which is pretty darn good and standard. Uh, it was either turn 4 or turn 5, but I think it was turn 4 though, because I think it was when we dropped the uh, Heroic Reinforcements. Um, regardless though, this was a super fun deck. I actually think with um, a little bit of tweaking, it could actually be a pretty decent uh, ladder or ranked or, uh, deck. But, uh, like always, if you... Oh, I, th I thought I was going to sneeze. Ugh, alright. Well... Like always, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, uh, which is the same thing as the like button. Uh, tap the bell icon, and you'll get notified every time we post a video. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So four videos a week. Um, this will actually be, I think, week two of four videos a week, and I'm really loving it. So uh, hopefully there'll be more videos in the future. Actually, let me know in the comments below. I was thinking about, um, on Sundays releasing a video which will be my favorite games from the previous week's video uh so maybe like not necessarily one from each each video but just my favorite games and it'll pretty much be kind of a way to promote the channel with just another video a week and um uh, if nothing else uh it'll just be fun just to see those really fast games like uh in this video i totally forgot um i totally didn't realize i won the game like twice because, uh, double strike, trample, it's weird math. Um, so that's always fun. In the previous video, I won using a chance of glory, stuff like that. Like, just kind of put out, like, a, my favorite games from this week, so. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if that is something you'd like to see. And, yeah, do all that. Subscribe, like, thumbs up, bell, all that good junk. And I will see you guys in the next video.